Four decades ago, this was Swampland, a seemingly ordinary tract of land, no different from any other in this section of Florida. Today, this land will be anything but ordinary. Today, it will test the finest golfers in the world, eager to claim the sport's richest prize. This is the final round of the Players' Championship. EA Sports and the PGA Tour so proud to present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today from TPC Sawgrass in Ponte Vedra Beach, Florida, live final round coverage of the players. It is the great challenge that all these golfers face, trying to string four solid rounds together, trying to best mother nature and this course, and trying to beat the entire field as we check the leaderboard. Frank Sunday here at TPC Sawgrass. We have seen so many great moments in this championship going back to the 1970s. Winners like Jack Nicklaus and Lee Trevino. Then ultimately it found a home at the stadium course 1982. Jerry Pate the winner and then Freddie Couples and Greg Norman. Onward, Tiger and Rory McIlroy. And now our featured golfer may be on the precipice of joining that group as a player's champ. I think that's the hardest thing for them today, Rich, is to not think about that illustrious list of winners. And, you know, you talk about 1982 when they first found a home. That's when this became their championship. And I mean the best players in the world. So if you can try and keep that in the back of your mind and really just think about the, the way in which you've got to attack this golf course and not get too far ahead of yourself, because when you come to 16, 17, and 18, everybody knows, whether it's us, the people watching, or the player themselves, Water and peril are in play on every single shot. I think I'd be fairly pleased with that, Frank. What do you think? I certainly do. It was so, so good. Safely in. It's a par here at the first. And he'll remain well, well under par. Another very nice tee shot. He looks awfully comfortable here with these first couple of drives. Yeah, mission accomplished. On into, didn't fly it all the way there, but got enough release in good shape. Yep, not bad. Had to put a little extra into that one, but got it there. That's a pretty good effort. Okay, no problems there. Finishing off a birdie at number two. And he's going to move to 33 under par. A 
Okay, center of the green. Good shot. Birdie attempt at the third. Nota Begay is down there. And a very makeable look here. Not too much undulation at all. Maybe just a slight move to the right. Yeah, that's good pot. A birdie here at one. And that's going to get him to minus 34. Driving's been sensational all week, and here's another one that's going to set up nicely in the fairway. Kane cut back left here today as he stares down his second to the par four. Eighteen feet from the bottom of the cup. No, well, didn't get that out there far enough, and it winds up sliding by to the right. That goes down, but it's a six at the par four. And it's going to be a rare dropped shot. We've already seen some narrow landing areas on these first few holes. Number five, no different, and that is really a good tee shot there. This could be a good one. Well, I don't have my tape measure out, but that looks like, oh, what, six, seven feet in there, but that is an excellent approach shot. Yes, a good read. It's a birdie here at five. And he will definitely not say no to that. Driving's been sensational all week, and here's another one that's going to set up nicely in the fairway. Second shot now from right at 100 yards.
Oh, just the strike, the sound of it. And the ball does the rest. Great shot. From four feet for birdie. Yeah, that's good putt. A birdie here at one will certainly help the cause. Well, you can't walk out and drop it any better than that. That is a fine tee shot right there. Now, Noda, his second from the fairway. 117 to the hole. Coming off a birdie at the previous hole, looking to go back to back. Well, the ball is on the green. That's about all I can say with that. With a short wedge in hand, you'd expect that certainly be much closer than that. from about eight feet. Yep, well done. That's in for par here at seven. And he'll be unable to take that score any further under par. He'll stay right where he is. Made an ace, Frank. Can you believe it? Wow. No problems there. That's going to wind up safely in the fairway. That's a well-struck three-wood there. Doesn't make it home to the green, but puts himself in a good position. He avoids the trouble, Rich, and more importantly, in prime position to get this up and down.
Yep, played that nicely. That'll work out just fine. Coming off the eagle, this for birdie. Yep, that's nicely done. It's a birdie here at the ninth. And that will be a 31 on the front side, five under par. one too close to the edge and it's going to wind up falling into the bunker. To be fair, the fairway bunker shot's difficult, but uh, now we're going to need a little bit of skill and touch to get it up and down. Holding it from off the green to extend that lead. Nah, it all looks so simple when you're going good, doesn't it? And that is yet another solid drive. Has to be thrilled with that second shot here to the par five. Frank got everything out of that. Yeah, did well just to advance the ball so far down the fairway. And now a fairly straightforward third shot. Now this for another birdie. Now, nah, missed it left. Mm, that's a letdown. So that brushed in for par here at 11. And pars are fine at this point with this tournament well in hand. This looks really good. Oh. 
Well, they claim it's a reachable par four. We haven't seen a whole lot of people do it today. We just saw it right there. Well done. Okay, didn't quite get it there, but that's a decent effort. <laughs> Nothing to it. It's a birdie here at 12. And stop the presses if you've heard this before. He's well on his way to yet another victory on the year. Okay, that one's dancing. Chance now for another birdie. Good opportunity lost there. Okay, that one finished off for a par. And he's going to maintain that substantial lead. Once again, another great tee shot. Uh, I'm starting to wonder how low can you go? And the driving has been simply superb. He'll be factoring in this breeze in his face as he sets for a second. Well, not as close to the pin as you'd like, but when you find greens in regulation on a regular basis, you're going to have a chance. Yeah, not quite a gimme, but that's pretty good. No issues there. It is a par here at 14. And that's going to keep this large lead right where it is. Just what you want at this point in the round. You're trying to find a rhythm, hit fairways, 
hit the middle of the club face. That's what they did right there. Second shot coming up, and we say hello to Iona Steven. We have 124 yards left to the hole and the pin on the front portion. This one has a chance to be close. Oh, I always knew that was going to be a good shot when it left the club face. What's that? Eight or nine feet? Excellent shot. Right by the hole. The longer putts, you don't mind as much. The short ones, they tend to sting. Okay, safely in for his par. And he'll remain well, well under par. He just keeps motoring right along. Another good tee shot right there. Good shot, that is home and two on the par five. Remember, made eagle earlier in the round, Frank. That may be a chance for a second. I know we can't call it a double eagle, but um, talk about aggression in these par fives. Way to stand up there and just hit the shot. Tell you what, lag putting such an underrated part of the game, and that is well done there. No problems there. That one in for a birdie. And this is turning into an absolute runaway at the top of the leaderboard. That is right, and that's going to need to grab something. Now, nah, we see it so often. You're coming off a birdie at 16. You're feeling good, and then you promptly drop one right into the water. Stuck the follow-through right there. This could be really good. 
Oh, second time's the charm. That is a beautiful shot. That'll leave you saying, why didn't I do that the first time? Okay, this par three shows its teeth. It is a double bogey. But fortunately, this one still well in hand. Yes, step one out of the way. It is in the fairway at 18. One more good approach shot could just about seal it. From the fairway, Iona, this is second. We're looking at 134 yards to get you to the front portion of the green. 139 yards will get you to the flag. And the pin, it's in the front portion of the green. That's a good shot, and more importantly, too, a green in regulation, so birdie chance. Sizable putt from 16 feet. Just a couple of feet. Okay, so that will wind up a par at the last. And that's going to make this a final round, 66. Just a tremendous week here on the first coast of Florida. Our feature golfer putting it all together, and they're going to be taking home that beautiful sterling silver trophy. And just a big start to the year.